He's got the tastiest water and all the good springs. Oh. So I guess we'll go spend the night at the camper too, once we're done here. We might swing by the tavern. Actually, I need to go see Ringo. I still haven't played a game of Caravan. That's my next mission then, before we go shoot any more people and do any more treasure hunting, do any more quests. I want to get a game or two of Caravan under my belt. I'm thinking maybe that's how we'll spend the nights. We'll um, run through the wasteland during the day trying to do as much as possible. And then when darkness comes, I'll do a couple games of Caravan and then fade off to sleep. I'm probably going to do a little bit of tidy work whenever I go to sleep. So don't be surprised if a few hours disappear. In game time, anyway. Oh no, I drank too much water. You're suffering from water intoxication. Right now, your brain has swelled to the point that your skull needs to step up a size or two or gray matter will begin dribbling out of your ears. Hurts, doesn't it? Aw, oh, man. I crippled my brain. That's what I get. Howdy, partner. See you, Victor. Yeah, we'll have to fix our head damage. That'll give us... Uh, I guess we can go talk to Doc about it. Maybe pawn off some of these goods to him. Let's see. I think it even slows me down. I feel all tipsy and top-heavy now. Oh god, if my ears start ringing... There it goes, yep. Oh god, I'm gonna have a... Yeah, a migraine now. Um, Ringo's not in there. Where the hell is he? Maybe he's down at the Prospect Saloon? Either that or he already moseys out of, moseyed out of town. There's just a regular settler. A regular Good Spring settler. There's Easy Pete. Where were you earlier, you old bastard? We were looking for you. That ought to keep things settled for a while. Hope it stays that way. I'm sure it will. They won't be back for a while. What do you know about Joe Cobb, anyways? What type of man was he? Bad trouble. That's pretty helpful, actually. Welcome. Uh, let's see. Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. I believe you. Um, what do you know about Victor, Pete? What's your read on him? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. I actually take e uh, think Easy Pete's more correct. Why are you called Easy Pete anyways? Where'd you get that name from? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. You were a prospector? Like digging for gold and silver? That type of stuff? Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. Treasure hunter myself. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. You gotta have a good eye for that most of the time. Did you ever find anything worthwhile while out there? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. What's wrong with NCR? Why'd you want to get away from them? Too, uh, overbearing? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. I guess that counts for something. What do you know about the Legion? They're slavers. Led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't, or couldn't, finish the job, though. 
The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. Hmm. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Oh, I remember that. We don't need to ask about the Hoover Dam. We know why it's important. Keep Thanks, your gun Pete. handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. I'll remember that, too. I like Pete. He seems like a good guy. Aw, oh, man, my head. Where are you at, Ringo? I want to talk to you before I go deal with this concussion. I don't think it's going to go away. Let's see, what do we got in here? There's Ringo. Thanks again for all your help. Yeah, no problem. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Let's leave him until this blurriness is gone, and then we'll do our, our caravan thing, I hope. Uh, hey, somebody yeah. new is back there. There's somebody back there. We'll have to go talk to him in a moment. He looks important. So what's up, Ringo? Thanks again for all your help. No problem. I'm glad you actually stood your ground. And you want to buy some? Nope. Tell me anything about Good Springs? Nope. What are the rules of Caravan? Explain to me as easy and as simply as you can. It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pot. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see Caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Uh -huh. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Yep, let's go ahead and play. I'll study the rules later on, on my own, whenever it's dark and I am just sitting there, not recording. Um, let's see. Yep, let's go ahead and play then. We'll find more cards later on our journey, I'm sure. Don't worry. I'm not that good of a player. Don't worry, neither am I. Let's see, Ringo's betting 56, we're just gonna auto-match him. I don't wanna raise it. And yeah, we'll accept it. Accept his bet. Now, I don't know anything about this. I don't know what I should be doing. I don't know if I should be trying to build anything. Um, I can shuffle through cards. I think I can build a deck later on once I start collecting cards out in the wasteland. But for now, I'm just gonna shuffle for a bit. And then, uh, play Caravan. There we go. That seems like the wise choice on my end. And he starts with a six of hearts. Um, let's see. I just want to want, want to go one over his head. We'll select a seven of diamonds. He goes nine there. Ouch. Does a king count as a ten? Um, we will do, I guess... Let's start off with a three there. We'll start low since he started high. He's got another nine there. Um, let's see. We can match this one over, I think. Or, I guess, do an 8 there. Oh, you gotta play all... All of the, uh, hubs first before you can choose where to go. So, let's see. He's taken over Redding, it looks like. Aces count for one point. Um, we will put... Or we can... I guess we can do that, but that only gives me 11 there. That'll bump that up good enough. You wanna go over 21, but under 27. Whoever can get closest in that will um, end up the victor. So let's see, six points. We'll skip this up just a little bit. Make him fight there for it. Nine, that'll bump that up to 23. That'll be good. Go for that, buddy. 23. Ooh. This will be 26. That's good, too. If I can do it. Damn, I can't. Um, cancel that. So let's see, I need either a club or a spade, I think. I could put the ace there and bump that up to 24. But that would leave him just a little bit of opening to come in behind me. Um, we'll play that there. I don't know if I should be fighting for the middle one yet since we are winning here. Oh yeah, see, damn. He bumped that up to 26. Ace, I could do... I don't know what a Joker does. Um, 
Okay, let's play this ace here. Oh, damn, I can't even do that. Crap. A king will put me way, way too far over. I'm going to play the king there. Takes that up to six. I have no idea what the king does. Does that double what the card's worth that you're playing that under? Uh, there's a six. Could bump that up. Joker, another ace. A seven. Um, yeah, we'll play that there. And there's a ten. That's great. Put that there. Now we will... Where can this two go? We already have the the first hub here, and he's got these two. Damn it! Hmm. Can I play this here? There we go. I'm hoping that this is only one point. Yep, there we go. Twenty-four. So we're tied there. We're tied over there. A six. Um, I don't know if I want to do that or not. This ace. Can I play, bump that over? No. Can I play that there? Nope. I want to hold on to the ace then. Can't play that. Man. Things are getting tight here. A two of diamonds. Could bump that up to 20 and then up to 26, I think. We'll try that. He bumps that. Damn, what a jerk. Um... I don't have anything low enough I can use. There's the ace. Can I play this six here? I can't. Son of a bitch. I can't play that there either. Nine's too much, way too much. I don't want to discard it. We'll play this ace, how about... Right here. I need something other than that. Damn. Yeah, I have no idea if I was even <laughs> doing good or bad, but oh well. First game of Caravan is down. Um, I'm going to try once Thanks more. Thanks again for all your help. Hey, let's play another game of Caravan, Ringo. I want to give you some more sure. of my caps. Um, time still passes, too, outside, by the way, while I play this. Auto match for 70. Actually, you know what? That's too much. I'm a cheapskate now. I've lost my money, and I'm going to tuck my tail between my legs and run. It's 6.30 outside. I don't think there's anything else in here. I do want to talk to that fellow. Excuse me, everybody coming through. Who is this? Ted, you changed your uniform, apparently? Oh, shit. Hey. Okay. To the dock we go while he's still on duty. Oh, wow. Once my head stops ringing. The sky is kind of beautiful with the sun setting, actually. It's that nice bu um, blue color. So there we go. We'll pay Doc 50 caps to fix my head, which is what it takes. Um, there may be a better way to do it, but I don't want to use my medical bag on it. And I don't have the medical skill to use stim packs if you even can. Um, where are you at, Doc? Come out over here. Come out somewhere, whatever. Oh, boy. Doc, are you alive? Not using the toilet, are you? He's not asleep, he's not changing. Did someone come kidnap Doc? What are you doing hiding in the corner, you creep? How are you holding up? Well, I drank too much water out there, and now my head swelled all up. I'm hurt. Don't look like nothing too serious. Let me patch you up. Awesome, here's 50 caps. Okay, hold still. It's not nearly as bad as before. There we go. Thank you, Doc. And I'm gonna save it. And whenever I, uh, we come, whenever I come back, who knows what we'll be doing? Probably getting ready to to go to sleep for the night. Catch up on our circadian rhythm. Okay. Well, um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and leave Doc's house then and be on our way. We won't be going to bed just yet. We do have a couple more hours of daylight to burn. We'll be spending it in Good Springs, though. Uh, we might head down the road and see what's at the end of it. <clears throat> and then run back. Let's see, though. Could go play some more caravan if I felt like pissing through some caps. 
which I really kind of don't. Uh, it's um dim enough out here now that I don't need my sunglasses. This is what it looks like with them on. It's starting to get dark. So we'll just take them off. And uh, enjoy the last few blinding rays of the sun that we can. Let's see. Looks like my needs are fine. I could use a few more calories and nutrition now. So let's see. What do we have to eat? Food. I think we'll just eat a dog steak. Well, it doesn't have too many nutrients. The gecko steak has even less. I mean, mesquite, nutrients 5, appeal 20, iguana bits. Um, that's all kind of the same. I guess for now we'll just eat iguana bits. See how that does us. And yeah, I'm going to have to move that. It's over overlaying with the radiation setting. Let's move that down just a bit. There we go. <clears throat> and I should also move that clock up there too. At some point. There's the new rats. Reskinned. Change them. Things will be changing every once in a while. We got the, we got them a haircut, and they picked up a tan. So let's see. What do we got down here? Um, I do know that there's a well over this way. We could take a few sips from. There's a couple that litter the landscape around here. I think we'll check them out. Let's see. Uh, delicious clean water. No rads. Just take a couple sips. 83, 90. One more sip. I don't want to blow my head off again. Okay, 97%. We're good to go. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I guess we'll keep our pistol out. we got plenty of ammo for it. And pistols do not slow you down when you run with them. Here's another, another well. It's all dry over here. What do we got here? Keep out. Yeah, that sounds like a save before you enter. You have discovered Sunny Time Cigarettes HQ. There's a bloody handprint. Um, let's save it. Let's save it over this one right here. And then we'll be on our way inside. Um, if there's raiders, we're probably going to get gunned down. There's something alright. You can hear them rooting around. I can't tell if it's demons or what. Pack of cigarettes. Uh, what do we got in here? Nine millimeter round ten. Let's see. We have that scope. Can we can we mod anything with it? Nine millimeter pistol. Um, so let's see. The Colt. We only got three shots for that. Yeah, forget it. Can I put the scope on the varmint rifle? No. It is a nine millimeter scope. So we put that on our 9mm pistol there, that's equipped. We also have this shotgun, don't we? Um, let's see, the pistol will be 1. I want the lever action shotgun M to be 3. My varmint rifle is 4. Hunting rifle is 5. We don't have many shots for that. Surgical saw and everything else is still manual selection. Oh, nice. <clears throat> that beautified that gun extremely well. What do we got here? Empty sarsaparilla bottles. Easy locked. I, don't, I think that's mole rats over there. There we go. So there's another 9mm pistol in there. We can use it to repair the current one. We're almost overloaded. We haven't even really explored this place yet. We might have to back out and go drop some loot off. Um, so let's see. 9mm hollow point. 36 rounds. Jeez. Stim pack and 39 bottle caps. Quite the haul. That did, that, that, I guess all that ammo will allow me to use my machine guns more often. Which is going to be extremely useful to cut through some of these armored people we run across. And four sarsaparillas in there. Um, you know what? I feel safe. Let's do this. What's in here? Come on out. Oh god, please don't be death claws. I will scream and cry. I won't even have time to run outside. geckos. There's a whole bunch of geckos all over here. Let's see. There's a young gecko. Drop him. Oh god. Scared the crap out of me. Um, 
I like that scope. That scope is going to be extremely useful. I have to try not to lose it or sell it somewhere. Um, any meat on you geckos? Yes! Raw gecko meat. There's, we're finally starting to provide for ourselves. Filing cabinet. Filing cabinet. Empty cola bottles. Um, let's see, what do we got in here? Some more 9mm rounds. Let's reload. Because I still hear a whole bunch of them out there. He blew his leg off or his arm. That's what he gets. A whole bunch of empty filing cabinets. Okay, we're... We're clear in here now. What is that? An ashtray. I guess I'm lucky it wasn't a, a landmine or something. Any meat on you? Shame none of these computers work. At least I don't think they do. We have 30 round clip of 556 there. Nothing up here. Some pre-war money. That stuff's good to trade. There is still collectors of it. Cash register, more pre-war money. Ammo box, more 556. Man, we're gonna be loaded. More pre-war money. Yeah, I think this next room is about as far as we'll get before I'm gonna have to back out for the day. We'll go drop stuff off at the camper. And the sun will be going down soon. Oh boy. Nice. Any more coming this way? Nope. Geckos drop easy enough. From a distance, right? Nobody in there. Nobody in there. Okay. What do we got through here? A dead body. I think he blew his own brains out. He got trapped in here. Whole bunch of 556. Five, 72 of them. We're gonna leave that. Combat helmet. That's useful. Leather armor. Um. Hang on. Let's go through my inventory real quick. The current pistol we've got equipped. We can get it repaired. Um, cleaver. Bonus limb damage. I don't need it, so drop the cleaver. Frag grenade, frag mine. Keep those. We can break those down uh, for parts. Keeping all this. Surgical saw, varmint rifle. The apparel. Yeah, I need to drop this hat off somewhere. Night vision sunglasses. We'll test those out soon enough, I think. You know, I do need to go someplace and drop off a whole bunch of this food. I have a feeling that's what's weighing us down as well. Three stealth boys. I don't need to carry that many around. Motorcycle, gas tank, a mutilated skull. Yeah, these are all decorative items I don't want to part with yet. Mm. So let's head out of here. Pick up Varmint Rifle M. There we go. Oh, damn. Now we're over-encumbered. want to pick up all of his 5.56 and we'll drop something here. What don't we need? Um, I don't need a box of detergent. Drop one more thing. I do want the camera. How about a... I can break down crutches, though, to wooden parts. So we'll keep that. Drained small energy cell doesn't want anything. Uh, duct tape you can use with everything, though. Syringes you can use. Oh, man. It's so difficult to part with things here. Because everything's so useful. Medical brace. I need that in case I ever need to heal myself, I think. Pre-war money. Planes, water tank, or plans. Sensor module, a single shotgun. I'm going to save that for um, one of my companions that we get because we're going to get a disposable companion soon enough. Tweezers, turpentine. Um, how about we drop the tweezers? Can I? There we go. And now we get out of here while well, we still can. There's a water fountain here. It's um, got rads though. Oh god, there's a stairwell. You know what? Just gonna close that door behind us and get out of here. Not go down the stairs this time. We'll do that whenever I come back. Um, probably tomorrow. We'll hit this place on the way to Prim. Probably. Oh, the sun's setting. 7:30 p.m. Looks like my calories are fine. Um, we'll get a, another drink or two on the way back here. That way we don't have to go by Victor's house. Um, do I want to get one more and go to 100%? No, 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 no not really. <clears throat> I don't even want to risk it. Well, damn, I should have waited just a few more seconds. 
There's the beautiful moon. But, uh, I was going to say, I, I just wanted uh, maybe one more drink. Can't do it. We'll wait and I'll drink the sarsaparilla. Actually, we're going to get drunk and drink some whiskey before we go to bed. Drink ourselves to sleep in our little abandoned camper up here. Uh, hey, and yeah, let's get those night vision sunglasses out too here in a moment. Right here, we'll test them out. We'll put them on a hot key. Our night vision key instead of for the day. So let's see, actually, let's make the daytime sun the daytime glasses be hot keyed on 7 and the nighttime glasses on 8. So here's night vision. Um, does it look any different to you guys? Night vision there. Daytime here. Daytime. Night vision. Daytime. Night vision. I think night vision is a little bit more green. Um, maybe it'll work when it's darker. We'll test it out. Uh, let's sit down in our in our lawn chair here. Kick back. And what should we drink? I think we'll have rum, vodka, whiskey, alcohol, 6.4%. We lose a lot of nutrients when we get drunk, though. We'll just have one beer. We don't want to get too hard drunk yet. We'll wait until we uh, go win went on the slots or something. So we have one beer for the night. Uh, it's peaceful here at Good Springs at least. 